Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and this is on layout. The reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I didn't find any good tutorials on how to get a layout such as add these effects and like to get these pop-outs and stuff. I had to like figure it out on my own and stuff. And I did well couldn't find any good tutorials. So first of all, this is the layout I might be using for animations. Uh, the reason because I have the uh, ability to pop that down, put, pop, wow, whoa, no, oops, yeah, to do, how to do that is you hold control and you can remove them, like so, and then that should, be, oh jeez, uh, yeah, yeah, and then there should be a small tab right here which enables it to come back up. So you just click on it and then it comes back. And then you have the materials, coordinates, and these tabs over here which have everything else inside. Plus everything else is also here if you like. And then I have the objects, attributes, content browser, layer, all here. And and I have a big space to work with because I have a small screen. So yeah. Uh, so how to do it? Uh, so first of all, if you go into startup or into cinema 4d menu then it should go to your default settings and uh, let's see uh, first of all let's start out by showing you under the window tab so there are, there's a content browser and everything in here so you click on that it brings up the content browser which is where uh, you can store lib 4d folders and stuff oh and uh, one more thing I forgot to show you so the render settings is in this view over here and the reason is because when you load in my um, layout it already has all these render settings so you can download the the, the layout and then go to uh, save it on your desktop or something and then go to window customization and load load layout e, and then just find my layout and load it in and then you should have my layout. Uh, is that how you do it? Yeah, load layouts. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so let's go back to start up. The okay, uh, I had a problem with this. I didn't. Uh, if you don't have these, it's because you didn't go to the Cinema 4D menu. So okay. Um, now tutorial time. Okay, so window you have the content browser, the material manager, which is this thing over here, and you have everything here, picture view, which is this. Um then full screen mode. Yeah, whatever. Then this is the main thing. So you click on this customize commands and you can search any command you like, such as hide selected objects and stuff. Uh, so and then we have this edit thing over here so if we click on that we have the ability to move anything over here and yeah so what I did to make a tab was I right click here uh, anywhere here uh, on the icon on the tab or whatever and then click on tab convert to tab and then you should see that tab popped up yay and to add another tab you need to just click and drag uh, you see these little thingies yeah dotted thing you drag it and it enables you to pop it up somewhere else Ooh, and you cannot undo <laughs> wow I messed up didn't I uh, ah, there okay um, I'll be right back okay and then you also have these little things here you can also pop it out like that if you like and you have the name of each tool at the bottom of your screen right here so if you go over something like this you can see that it gives you the name uh, okay so let's and if you drag this on top of this over here on top of the tab on the left or the right side if it's on the left it will pop up there and if you move it to the right it pops up on the right problem with this is you can see that it's in a like a thing going down so all you have to do is 
click and drag it up oh no not like that click this just move up um just move this down a little so you can see and just move it here oh you can't do that uh right click row column okay that's not gonna work so as you can see i'm a noob also um i'll be right back again yeah you need to save it so to save it i'll go to customization save layout as and then save it and if you mess up you can always go back to that so pause okay how i did the tabs was how to pop up something like this how i did that was i made a, a new palette and then um this is what i figured out by myself otherwise because no one i looked at a lot of tutorials and no one covered this area so uh and then let's see what can i do um so simulation something we don't have on the on this thing so okay the giant tools and stuff so we click on that oh you can also find it here so joint and then grab drag, drag drag it out uh, so now we drag out the tool drag out everything uh, well everything we want that wants to pop out like so and then you can arrange it any way you like so say you want it to have a like a group separator so you just click on that and drag it and what it does it just adds a small uh, thing and to delete it you double click like so then fill space what it does is you can like add more things like that um, icon separator just little separators to make it look nice uh, great I messed that up uh, way too right yeah and how to make it into one is you just right click on the icon you want it to be um, as one then you go to tell, uh, full pa palette and then it just changes it to one I need to off that to see so as you can see yes it's like that uh, what else okay so then we can always add more stuff and then we can drag it and put it here yay um, and how I did the render settings and stuff is I right click I click on that uh, no no this and then click on that and you drag it no nope. uh, you need to first click on this convert to tab then click on this and then drag it onto that like so and that creates a tab uh, then you can always add your render settings and stuff uh, so yeah that's about it let me think yeah. I had to show you other things in the customize commands and in the render settings thing so go to render settings and if you want to save your render settings if you like um, go to like if you don't want to use this layout thingy uh, you can always save it so click on this thing you want to save so I'm going to save movie and then save preset and save it as whatever you like and then when you click on load preset it should be here um, and yeah you can all, and then you always you need to click on this small icon for it to work otherwise it doesn't work I forgot to mention that how to delete your your load presets how to delete them is you need to go to content browser preset user then render settings and delete whatever you don't need uh, uh, yeah um, and then the customization command uh, you can add a shortcut key so say I want to shortcut shortcut 
the rectangle selection so I find the name of it rectangle selection and it should be right so it's this one it doesn't have a shortcut key so I'm gonna make one so let me think uh, it can be I don't know shift command M then if you click add and it's oh uh, yeah so that means it's already taken new and then shift command alt M this should not be taken yeah so and then you can always delete it so that's also a cool feature um, and that's about it yeah so thank you for watching and yeah, bye.